Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Whitfield, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, how oral health is connected to your overall health. And, uh, you know, I've done a number of these videos, and my style is pretty informal. And so I'm going to do this on one take. And, uh, you know, if there are questions that come out from this, by all means, always feel free to call my office. I uh, am a dentist uh, and I have an office in uh, Seattle, Washington. My number is 206-575-1000. Um, and so I've started this YouTube channel to basically get knowledge out there on that whole connection to your, your overall health that comes from your oral health. And so what I wanted to talk to you today about specifically is how do we get your overall oral health to its best possible shape, health. And I think the biggest thing is we have to re realize that your immune system interacts um, uh, where um, the outside meets the inside. And so your, oral, your, health, your mouth is one of the first interfaces uh, with your environment. And your immune system is very active there, just like your whole gut system too, okay? And just as you breathe and in your sinuses and your lungs, your immune system interacts with the environment, so too does your mouth. <clears throat> now, we've got this global pandemic going on, or have gone on, depending on when you've seen this video. And so I think understanding how the immune system is so important for our health and longevity, but the other thing is we can do something about it. And it isn't always about taking a pill or about your genetic disposition, okay? So there are things you can do about it, okay? Now, when it comes to the mouth, I'd say the biggest thing is getting your regular cleanings and also measure Wherever you get, to, if your your doctor, dentist needs to measure how you're doing, okay. And in this case, with the oral health, we really need to focus on periodontal health. Let's focus on that, okay, uh, today. And so, when it comes to periodontal health, we need to measure. If you're coming in twice a year or four times a year to your dentist, we need to measure that. We need to measure how you're doing. Okay, and I've been practicing quite a few years now. And the last thing I want to tell a patient is, you know what, you need to do a little more flossing and here's your little bag with some extra floss and a toothpaste. Try better next time. Okay, that doesn't give the patient enough information. And so you as a consumer need to be given a lot more information on how you can do it other than Floss a little better and work on your technique, please. No, 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 that's not good enough. It's not good enough in, the t uh, in, in, in this new age we're in. And so how do we know we're doing better? Well, the hygienist or the doctor often will probe with a little instrument your, your periodontal pockets, okay? And take some measurements, okay? They'll also look for inflammation, like are the tissues inflamed? Um, are they bleeding? The irony is that most um, professionals that are measuring, they all mention that you've got some bleeding gums. And if you only have a little bit of bleeding, they consider that pretty normal. Um, and they won't necessarily tell you that your gums are really super inflamed or mildly inflamed or not flamed, inflamed at all. And they may not tell you that, okay? They'll tell you if you've got a pocket depth that's deep, like, so many more millimeters than normal, okay? Uh, but you know, I think that what we really need to start talking about is, do we have bone loss? Do we actually have bone loss? How often has your hygienist or doctor told you, hey, you've got bone loss around your gums, okay? That's what the x-ray is gonna tell us. It's gonna give us that really good information. The other element that I want people to start thinking about is the bacteria, because the bacteria are what are, bacteria and viruses are what are really attacking uh, your gum tissue, okay? And trying to make, take up home basically there. And so 
nowadays we have genetic tests for the bacteria not for you genetics on the bacteria and we can test what bacteria are there very specifically and we can measure that quantify it and then it's your next appointment or a year later check and quantify it again do we actually reduce those bacteria because that's the real end point a is your gums bleeding are they inflamed are the tissue look healthy okay does it look healthy okay and are the bacteria there that are really bad or not that's how you measure something okay so there's the parameters we need to measure and then the x-rays the bone loss there on the x-rays so there's lots of measurements i would say other than just the basic measurements that you often hear so i wanted to throw you out uh this sort of hodgepodge of information but and i'm going to talk more especially since there seems to be a little bit more time uh that i have right now to do that so i'm going to try to throw out content and hit on all these different things okay but i strongly encourage strongly encourage you to realize that you can't improve what you don't measure. And oftentimes we're not measuring enough of the right things or comprehensively your periodontal health. Because I guarantee you, if your gums aren't bleeding, if your gums aren't inflamed, okay, if your gums are tight and stippled to have a really nice firm appearance, okay, then that means your immune system is working well. And I have a feeling that if you were to have a nasty virus, something like this global pandemic going on, you would be one of the last persons to get infected by this, okay? That's conjecture, but the reality is, if your gum tissues are super healthy, that means your overall body's pretty healthy. It also probably means your respiratory system's pretty healthy, okay? So when we attack your health with the oral, we do take an inclusive overall uh, look at things because if you're diabetic if you have high blood pressure if you're a smoker okay if you're any of those big things we know, or you have a, a genetic you know inflammatory problem you're autoimmune you know you uh, have a, a serious systemic issue it all shows up in the gum tissue it really does Diabetics have terrible gums if their diabetes isn't under control. But guess what? If their gum tissue is looking great, then that means their inflammatory system is their infl inflammation is really down. That means their immune system is functioning at a high level. They're going to be the one that's going to be healthy and get through a pandemic. Okay, but if the gum tissues are unhealthy, all bets are off. Okay, but if the gum tissues are healthy. Guess what? That diabetic is under control and their immune system should be very close to a normal person's immune system. Okay? Same thing with a smoker. If you're smoking, it shows up. Gum tissues are healthy. Guess what? You're not smoking. It's pretty obvious. Okay. Uh, blood pressure. You got your blood pressure under control? Okay. Um, you can pr pretty much guarantee then you got probably pretty healthy cardiovascular health. Now, if you're pumping a whole bunch of medicines to get your blood pressure under control no that don't count okay what we want to do is get the oral health healthy because it is a window onto your overall health because when this window is healthy the rest of you is probably pretty dang healthy too so anyway I strongly encourage you to seek out doctors and dentists that really are going to measure your health probably more than once a year and to use the most comprehensive set of measurements possible. Anyway, we'll talk more. There's so many cool things going on, so many different ways to stay healthy. And I'll tell you, number one is exercise is always gonna be tied to, to diet. Okay, diet and exercise, super huge. So some of these uh, videos, I'm gonna throw out there what I do. And, you know, I do a lot of exercise. Uh, and uh, so I'm gonna do some videos uh, while I'm out there uh, doing what I like to do, which is running out in nature and stuff like that. Okay, bye, thank you.